Yep. The following program is for adult audiences only. This is... This is... Eric and Gord, what if we're right? Live, right now. Are you ready? Find, find and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Hi there. Happy Tuesday. It's March 24th, 2020, and I'm Eric, talking at you once again from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where I spent the day making a list of all the intelligent things I remember Donald Trump saying. So here you go. Hey, Gord, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> uh, I actually expected the list to be shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Um, quick shout out to Mike at Pit Lane Parlay, the number one racing and indie car podcast in the world. And when you're not listening to him or us, check out the Functionally Dysfunctional podcast on Apple Podcast. It is a damn good show. And if you're on Apple anyway, give us all a, a little star rating and tell your friends. Thanks for listening. We love that you're here. I um, want to just say a quick note. If you know who Dr. Benjamin Hardy is, and if you're a fan, and if you heard our episode that we did with him and liked what he had to say, uh, I have very limited advanced copies of his new book, Personality Isn't Permanent. That'll be in stores June 16th, but if you just can't wait that long, shoot us an email. Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, sorry, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. And I can give you an advanced copy free of charge because he liked us that much. Um, very awesome. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for sharing. Um, enjoy the show. Gord, what's going on, buddy? Um, I don't mean to surprise you, but coronavirus. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Um, I found out, <laughs> I found out today that, uh, apparently making doors is an essential, uh, thing in Ontario. So, um, I will not be taking part of the, the self quarantine, uh, because, uh, doors. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, you think I'm, doors keep viruses I'm out, still right? I'm trying to so. figure that out. I mean, well, like, the, the weird thing is, is like you said, this whole, uh, um, Ford had come out with saying that, you know, he's you know, basically he's going to be, I'm going to paraphrase because he never used the term and we shouldn't because it's not right. Uh, but, you know, it's, that's a shutting Ontario down. He's going to, you know, put into this bullshit and basically just and set up for a massive fucking set of quarantine so we can get ahead of this whole thing and make sure that nothing breaks worse than it is or anything else. And he announces this huge, massive shutdown plan and basically, the only p- people he shut down are like independent niche shop owners. Um, so, like you know, like the, the little small stores that you walk in to look at a candle and put it down and walk out again, um, things like that. Uh, flower stores, um, and that's about the extent of it. Yeah, everything else is considered essential. It was the mo- it's the most pointless piece of crap I've ever seen because this literally affects nobody. Everybody that this quote unquote affects is already on quarantine as it is. Yeah, well, that's a so good thing, I just, guess. It isn't because it, a it shows it's pointless. B it shows he's spineless. Because if you're going to do a shutdown, then the first thing you should be shutting down, like not first thing, but one of the major things you'd be shutting down would be. Um, non-essential construction projects, which means anything not related to hospitals, doctors, or pharmacies, you sh- you stop those for two weeks. Put a stop to it for two weeks. Right. Send everybody home for two weeks because you can't contain anything on a giant open site like that. But we're, we and you have both worked those fucking jobs. We're not the cleanest of people when we work those jobs. I think people are – some people, and including Ford, are starting to realize that uh, it's not practical. It's not – doesn't make any sense and let's just try to you know maneuver as best we can with with 
and and make it look like we're putting forth our best effort, I guess. Oh, it's without bankrupting insane. everybody. I have something I want to read about it uh, in a little bit because. Uh, Dr. Hardy inspired me to start writing on medium.com again. I used to do it and then I quit. And then he was talking about it and I got all like, Oh my God, how come I'm not doing that? So I've started doing that again and I kind of want to direct people's attention to it. So I'm going to read a little excerpt from something of mine that you can find on medium.com. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun for everybody. It's just a short little thing. Um, I could do that now or later. No, I'll do it now. Why not? Yeah, do it now. Oh, yeah. Because it, yeah, right. it relates to what we're just talking about. It's just I'm just going to do a quick little couple of paragraphs from it, but you can read the whole thing on medium.com. Um, <clears throat> the most serious and disturbing symptom of the COVID-19 breakout seems to be the rapid and total abandonment of reason, logic, and common sense. This is spread further and more rapidly than the novel coronavirus ever will, and it it, it infects without prejudice, regardless of its victim's age or physical health. Ordinarily discerning individuals are barricading themselves and their families in makeshift McCarthy-era-style bomb shelters constructed from Costco packs of Charmin glued together with antibacterial Purell. Some of these people appear to believe that COVID-19 can identify its victims prior to attacking them, so they've chosen to wear masks and to avoid detection. <laughs> the most, <laughs> most vulnerable to this extreme mental degeneration are, by all accounts, any individuals who've been exposed to unhealthy amounts of network television news or high levels of social media interaction. However, nobody's completely immune. In a matter of days, entire communities that are totally isolated, miles away from the nearest town that's reported to single citizens showing signs of any sort of condition that remotely resembles an illness, have imposed an informal martial law on their people. One of the delusions that that this mass paranoia causes its victims to suffer is the notion that it's possible to anger COVID-19 by talking to one another. Governments of all levels are are instructing citizens to watch their neighbors closely and immediately notify authorities if any of their behavior violates these newly imposed restrictions. If you're aware of any individual in your neighborhood who might have at one time been in contact with somebody who might have had a relative who once used to date someone whose brother had a roommate who worked with a guy who maybe went to China at some point, it's your patriotic duty to immediately inform the police of that individual's location and activities. (laughs) <laughs> Two things about this sudden worldwide retardation are extremely concerning. The first thing is that people who aren't yet suffering from this condition aren't questioning the erratic behavior of those who've been stricken. Uh, regardless of how, how irrational the demands of government become and how crazy the behavior of the newly retarded seems to get, almost nobody points out that the absolute insanity of all of this. The second frightening thing is there is a scary low number of people considering how our society is going to recover from the economic ruin that this great mental breakdown is causing. That's all you get for that. That's the fucking truth. Um, Yeah, that's... I fully blame the media. I think the media at the end of the day needs to be punished for what they have done uh, in the handling of this. They have spread fear completely unnecessary in all our countries and and just made this out to be uh something that it isn't and they're they're not backing off at all because they, it's the news's job is to get you to watch the news so they're making it very interesting and scary but at the end of the day they've caused a tremendous amount of damage and i think they should all be held accountable for some of the economic problems we're facing now. I really do. Except for me and Gord, because we've been reporting it straight from the day one. And we've been not citing panic throughout all of this. No. Just trying not to. Um, but nevertheless, it is what it is, and we all just have to do what we're told and try to get over it as quickly as possible. Um... 
Yeah. So that's all. I I don't want. I have news that's not Corona uh, related. I'm happy to talk about that instead. But if we have something more Corona, we can talk Corona if it's something important. But I don't want to just keep going over the same fucking thing all day every day. Uh, fully agree. Um, uh, the only big things I really wanted to mention, I got two main important things. Um, one is, well, just Trump's an idiot. Uh, he Trump actually now believes that he can have, that he is going to have the entire American economy reopened by Easter, uh, which basically he's saying that this virus will be contained by Easter. Um, um, uh, He's an idiot. He was going um, so far gonna... as to uh, make it sound like he was going to start punishing businesses that don't reopen right away. Yeah, that's just it. Yeah, like he's that he's 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 a fuck he's a fucking idiot. Um, he just doesn't have a clue. They had the U.S. had over ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, he had ten. Th- the U.S. had ten thousand new cases. Of the coronavirus yesterday, right? Keeping just him yesterday, and he thinks that it's going to. It's just. It's just. They're just starting the upswing of this virus going through. But again, keep in mind what the media is doing now. They're projecting that they're supposed to have a hundred thousand new cases by the end of the week. So if they've only got ten a day, they're doing just fine. You gotta. Yeah. Like, until tomorrow, it hits fourteen thousand. The day after that, it hits twenty-two. You just yeah, but, don't know. Yeah, but it's supposed to be over a hundred thousand new cases by the end of the week. So if we're only doing ten thousand new cases a day, we're doing okay. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. That's that's what we want to see. They're well, spin- they're spinning that number the other way, going, "Oh my God, it's ten thousand new cases." Yeah, but it's supposed to be twenty. The estimates were 20, and it's only 10. Yes. Spin it it's that dense. way. It's only half. Yeah. Agreed. Now, I mean, I'm that I haven't seen one site post about the um, about the, the actual, what the numbers are, what they actually are. I see what you're saying, because they are, I'm, I'm seeing lots of these media sites that are saying, you know, it's slated to hit 100,000 new things by the end of the week. I'm seeing that all over the place. But... Not one person on any of these sites has actually quoted the fact that there's ten thousand, only ten thousand cases yesterday, right? Which is half of what they're slated to be going through. So exactly, shut the fuck up. That's the way yeah. you gotta you gotta spin these up. The way the media is doing it is just disgusting, and I can't believe they're not letting up just a little bit. They're just pounding it, and ah, oh, it's for tear, just aggravating. Yeah, it's insane. Um... Uh, so yeah, there's that, and I just think that's just craziness. Um, now, this next thing, so like I said, I, I really didn't want to touch a whole lot on that one, but this next one because we talked about this not all that long ago. Uh, Russia and their coronavirus. Yeah. Well, I officially have. Russia has officially released what they claim are their numbers. What they claim are their numbers. Well said. Because we all know, because you got, because you got to remember, there's, and, and I double checked this. I let something up. Um, they border China for twenty six hundred mile border with China. Like, I mean, although it's a completely different area than what it is, but China's still going pretty fucking gangbusters with numbers. Yeah, but no, I totally agree with you. Is what I'm saying. Now, Russia is reporting four hundred and ninety five cases and zero deaths. Yep. And with... And, hang on, on top of that, there, um, one of the big things that's been going on in there is that they've had a, since January, they've had a huge number of people dying from pneumonia. Right. Which is, ends up, can be which is i mean you know a lot of people don't necessarily die from the covid 19 as much as they're dying from pneumonia yeah well, secondary I'm, things. Yeah. most people it's have a pre-existing heart condition god skype is sucking a fat one tonight 
Oh, it's horrible tonight. I know it's fucking terrible. Uh, 